Next, we are going to have Carol Francis. This is a film clip historical from the first uh, Truth Commission. Carol Francis is a retired LA Unified teacher, LA uh, Unified School District teacher, a playwright, and longtime Cuba solidarity activist in Los Angeles. Listen closely to how far back anti communism in America goes. Thank you. And now we're going to end, end our with one last testimony uh, and uh, this first panel on the early years of um, anti-communism in the United States. And it goes back even further than 100 years ago. Well, um, I just want to ask you, what was the first movement? to be red baited was the first movement in what decade where somebody called communists because of their work. Go ahead, chat it out. Any ideas? What's the earliest movement that you can think of that was red baited? Labor. Labor what year? What decade? Uh, 1870s. 1870s labor. Anybody earlier than that? Actually, it was the 50s. The 1850s. Um, I was, it was the anti slavery movement, the abolitionist movement. I was in Nicaragua, in Managua, Nicaragua, with a group of people who were there from all over the world showing solidarity with the Sandinista Revolution. And I was talking with another US American, somebody I knew from LA, and these two Canadians came over holding this book. This book is called Labor's Untold Story. Um, it was written in the 1950s, uh, labor movement struggle. Um, they said, have you seen this book? And I said, yeah, I've seen it. I haven't read it yet. I said, you've got to read this, page 15. So they had these two Canadians showing us this book. So um, here it is, a quote from a slave apologist in 1850. Now bear in mind what happened in 1848. The, um, what was that? Communist Manifesto came out. I was born on the centennial of the Communist Manifesto, so I forget 1848. So 1848, 1850, those guys did not waste any time. 1850, this came out. The parties in this conflict are not merely abolitionists and slaveholders. They are atheists, socialists, communists, Red Republicans, Jacob, Jacobins on one side, and the Friends of Order and Regulated Freedom on the other. And what's their freedom being regulated by the And here's another quote. This is seven years later, 1857. We warn the North. The Negro slave trade in the Negro slavery question as a means to their ulterior ends. Socialism and communism. No private property, no church, no law, free love, free land, free women, and children. Lakers and Tall Story, page 15. Great. That is definitely um, a story that needs to be told. Labor's untold story. Red baiting of anti-slavery activists. There you have it. Has nothing to do with the Soviet Union is our part and human rights and all of that. It's a it's a battle of ideas.